All right, Marty, thank you. 7.42 this Friday morning. Comedian Ben Bailey is in town performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. And this morning, he is in studio with us live. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. You didn't get a lot of sleep bet. last no, night. I'm I've sorry. No, i got plenty. I got about two hours and... 28 minutes of sleep, so I'm good to go. Perfect. <laughs> We're circling the airport for about 40 minutes. Our airport or? Uh, yeah, here in Rochester, yeah. Any I don't know why. Reason? It was clear. I could see the whole city. I was watching. I think I saw a guy drive into the airport to come and open the gate and let us in. <laughs> <laughs> That's, listen, it is the, it's the Rochester International <laughs> Airport. Yeah. I don't know how many international flights they'll fly in and out. I think we actually went over the border and we're technically in Canada at one point, oh, just circling. Well, quite possibly. I don't know why, but, Very, but I'm here. I double made check it, everybody. the passport and we appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, so you last time you were here, 2019. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like that. What has, what was the, I, I'm going to ask you uh, an older, a dated question okay. now at this point. All right, I'm but old. I should be able to answer it. You absolutely should. That, that stretch of the pandemic, you're finally, you finally get back into it. What was that time like for you? Uh, the pandemic or yeah. the after pandemic? Okay. The pandemic, I felt like my house turned into a spaceship <laughs> and I was just alone floating through the universe, you know? <laughs> I, like, I didn't, I, didn't do, I didn't come out and see anyone. I didn't do a show for about a year and eight months. Wow. I was so paranoid that I was going to be like a super cluster event. And it'd be like, Ben Fair enough. show, he kills hundreds, you know. Like, <laughs> no. I, so I just didn't Not come back the for a long you time. Need. No. Absolutely they say there's not. no such thing as bad publicity, but I think I that, think would that have been is bad, bad publicity. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, I want to talk about something okay. because, and and you can you can beat me up after the show. Um, awesome. Cash Cab. <laughs> Yeah. One of my favorite shows. Oh, thanks, I thought man. it was great, and Thank I'm glad you, you don't have any questions prepared because I would fail miserably. <laughs> right. What was doing that show like, and how frequently do people come up to you? I, I imagine it's a daily occurrence. Uh, they do, yeah. They still recognize me from Cash Cab quite a bit. Uh, but you know what? The interesting ones are when they, don't, they can't figure out where. Mm -hmm. So they look at you like <laughs> for 10 minutes. <laughs> and you finally go over and I go, I'm the guy from Dirty Jobs. Ah, uh, ah, oh, micro. <laughs> <laughs> you do kind of have a micro look. We, have, we don't. We don't look at all. Like yes. people mix us up all the time. I think it's our voice. We have Maybe. very similar okay. voices, okay. and uh, and we were on the same network at the same time. But very true. Cash Cab was awesome. It was amazing, man. We did it for almost fifteen years. Yeah. We made seven hundred and some some. I think seven hundred episodes. Seriously. And yeah. Wow. So it was great, but you know I'm. I'm not super anxious to be out driving a cab again. No, you listen, <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. And you were in comedy long before you I got was, that show. Yeah, yeah. I, it'll be 30 years this December since I started stand-up comedy. That's pretty incredible. I, it's hard to believe. I can't believe how old I am. When, at I what so point? Old. When did I get so old? You're not that old. Well, You're not that old. At what no. point growing up did you say, hey, this this laughter thing? I'm, I'm a funny guy. You know, I didn't realize it. Uh, I didn't start stand-up until I was, like, 21. Uh, but I had been a comedian all along, like, but I just didn't know it. Yeah. When I was getting thrown out of class for making everybody laugh, I didn't realize I was training for my yes. future career, you know. But it's kind of always been my thing. I guess it kind of pays to be the class clown maybe a little? Yeah, once in a while. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't class clown. I was not voted class clown, and I was really upset about it. Oh, listen, I would be too. The guy has, like, too. an office job. Yeah. Like, come on, man. You're on TV. Yeah. I am a clown. Yes. The crying on the inside kind. <laughs> no. You are not. You I are am. not. I've seen I some I get of some your stand-up. I got to get some sleep, man. You do need to get some sleep. You, do, you shouldn't be drinking coffee. You should yeah. be having, like, bedtime tea right now. I'm covering the label. Uh, uh, we, we appreciate that because we are sponsored by the other people. I know. I know. I don't know how we let that. We're not. We're not oh, really. Oh, thank God for coffee. How good is coffee? Ben Bailey I'm is in to town beer at about noon. performing at Comedy at the Carlson both tonight and tomorrow. Show is seven and nine both nights. There are tickets available, but you gotta get them now because they're not gonna last. He's not going anywhere. We're gonna continue this conversation. We got oh, some excellent. security at the door who's gonna keep him from leaving. Oh. We're back after this. You've watched them grow year after year after year. I love you too, Mommy. All clear, party people. And look how they turned out. Haley has been arrested. Be careful! What? Abby Fridman and meteorologist Marty Snyder. 
749, we are back this morning. A look at the planning forecast there on your screen. The good news here, the weekend is looking great. Yeah, a bit overcast, a couple of clouds out there. Nothing that is going to phase us today, Rochester. Some isolated showers. Those temperatures, though, the good news here, are going to rise as we make our way through the day. A high of 76 degrees. We are back now. Comedian nice. Ben Bailey in town getting ready for tonight's performances and tomorrow's performances. Yep. Talk to me about the sleep schedule because you got none last night. What, two I hours? Got, uh, two hours and 28 minutes of sleep last night. Yeah, That's and you got to be able to bring me. the. Most nights I get about two and a half hours. You're, you're, that, I'm that, kidding, that, okay, kidding. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> if anything, I, I get it's not more. Possible. I usually sleep, my sleep schedule is a mess. I, I go to bed at five and I sleep till two. Yeah, so 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. Well, you comedians, you're like creatures of the night. We are. We are nocturnal animals. Yeah. We're up howling at the moon. What does it Hello. feel like? <laughs> it feels that like... That coffee has not kicked in It yet. feels like... <laughs> uh, it feels like uh, being not a part of the society that you live in. That's fair. Because you just live at a totally different time. That is fair. And some people just can't fathom it. They just don't get it. No. People are like, what do you do during the day? I'm like... I sleep. <laughs> They're like, but you have your days free. I'm like, I know, because I work at night. <laughs> Like, but but don't you? And I'm like, no, 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 I don't. I no. sleep. I, I, well, your schedule. What, like, what do you get here at three or something? Oh, I get here earlier. You get here earlier the than alarm three. goes off at one a.m. My friend. What? Yeah. One in the morning, your alarm's going off to get up. Yes. That's four hours before I go to sleep, man. It's crazy, right? <laughs> I could still come and see your show then. Yeah. If well, you just bump if, those hours a little bit. If I could connect with my real late night crowd and start doing shows at 2 a.m. <laughs> I'm, you, looking you at, would I'm looking at Mark the club owner, 2 a.m. show. What do you think? <laughs> you like, would no, have people no, in the please, audience. No. You would have people in the audience. Sleeping in on the weekends is like 2 in the morning for me. Oh, my that's God. When, that's when the body just yeah, wakes up. Opposite. So Total what time? Opposite. You go to bed at 6 o'clock? We're making this all about me. It's supposed to be about you. Yeah, uh, but yeah, see, I don't like yeah, to talk about myself. Right. So. Right around, right around six o'clock is six p.m. When I you typically go to, go to bed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Sometimes I'm you, having lunch. You you pull the late night and you do the seven or seven, 7 p.m. <sighs> you crazy. Seven thirty though. That's crazy that's crossing the line. I can't do it. I know. I know. But so you're kind of not the norm either. No, not you're at the all. Op, you know, well, we're opposite ends of the spectrum, but just not within the, the normal realm. Not, I, that's, that's, I would say my sleep schedule is the most normal thing about me. Oh, okay. Which is, it says a lot, yeah. absolutely. Let's delve a little deeper into you. Who Shall are we? you exactly? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's your... <laughs> What's your favorite breakfast food? <laughs> My favorite breakfast. I, normally, I normally I eat salad right out here during the salad. Show. Yes, for I have breakfast. a salad for breakfast. You I know. Heard it here first, Listen, folks. We're we're not talking about this. This is not why people are watching. This the is the Ben Bailey right Show. Now. We'll be right back. I'm interviewing <laughs> local anchor, TV anchor. <laughs> ben, for somebody who knows you for your, your television life, mm. what can they expect when they buy their tickets tonight for the 7 and 9 p.m. shows tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson? You see the website there on your screen. What all, are they going to see when, when you're up there on stage? All kidding aside, I see it as my <laughs> job. If you buy a ticket to come to one of my shows, I see it as my job to make you laugh until you forget about the parts of your life that suck. So you're in the crowd. At some point, I want you to just be laughing so hard that nothing really matters. You know, I actually, just, even if it's just for a minute. I appreciate that response because that's that's kind of what that's it's all about. That's the job, about. man. That's what, what is... that's what people are coming in for. And I I swear I'm not messing around. I, I take it very seriously. I will tickle everyone in the crowd individually <laughs> if that's what I have to do. <laughs> One at a time. How many seats in the room? There's, I will tickle, you're, we're going to find... I will tickle 325 people individually. You, 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 and I'm talking physical. You, no jokes. I'm going to come just, up and you just poke you under the arms. the doors, and, my friend. The floodgates are go. open. Tickets are available. 753 local headlines are coming up next. <laughs> you're going to get a big response to that.